Hey, hey, here is Sigbiker and today we are sharing this great moment together and that's the moment when this huge box arrives to your home and you know the new bike is inside. I can feel the smell of new bike in my studio which is always a great moment, every cyclist wants to cherish that. Uh, but I'm also going to answer many of your questions like how to unpack the bike and how many skills actually you need to have and tools in order to make a full setup and be ready to go. Uh, what kind of bike it is? Uh, it's a bike which will help me to build my aerobic motor because I'm just starting a new period of my uh, training and it is, it starts with C, the next letter is A, the third one is N and it's, let's just see. Hmm, welcome to a community. It sounds familiar, isn't it? But it's not Strava. Of passionate cyclists. Welcome to a community of passionate cyclists. Hmm, what brand does it? Well, well, it is Canyon. Now it's time to unpack our bike safely. There were two smaller boxes on the top uh, of the bike. One seems to be empty, so only the protection of the bike. And the second one is pretty heavy and it says, now it's your turn, go riding, cool. Uh, and this one will be full of tools or some components. We always wanna make sure, are there any loose parts uh, in the box? There are none here. The, wheel, the rear wheel is on the bike, the front one is attached to the bike, the saddle with the seat post is attached as well, so we can just remove this from the, the package as one whole piece. Make sure also nothing is left in the box. There it is, that's our bike. But before we try to put everything together, let's just see what we got in the additional box. Ta-da! And we've got quite a lot here. These are all the essentials that we need to put on the bike to be street legal. Uh, there are some additional pads, uh, um, for example, in case of uh, bleeding our brakes and also transporting the bike uh, without the wheels. There is a through axle here and some manual, so we're gonna, we're gonna see that later. Here is the torque wrench, and this is really cool that Canyon uh, does give us uh, this torque wrench. This is one of the most um, inexpensive uh, torque wrenches on the market, but this will help setting up the bike. Thanks, Canyon. And finally, this is heavy, this is heavy, Canyon logo, ooh, I love this, I love this manual road bike in how many languages, okay, there is just so many languages, uh, let's see, the bike came to Poland, there you go, you've got the Polish one, uh, Czech Republic, Slovakian, uh, English, uh, German, so I hope it will be full guide to maintaining your bike. That's really cool. So actually before uh, removing the bike from the um, uh, box, you, we could have read this, or maybe we should have read uh, this uh, manual here uh, on this really, really thick book. That's it, and here, okay, something some additional things, I think it's just some, some attachment to this book. Okay, we are ready to set it up. And I missed a small paste here. Uh, this one is for assembling the carbon seat post on our bike. Okay, now I got it. This one, this is the manual for the bike. And this one, that's the little booklet that we should read when assembling the bike uh, from the uh, new from the package. 
This is really cool. There is no zip ties on the bike, so we don't need any cutters. We don't need to cut and remove the zip ties. It will be really easy to remove all the parts from the bike, from the frame. We do not tighten those bolts uh, just in the row, uh, but like every other, just a little bit and then we're gonna use the top wrench. And now I'm tightening until I can see five here on the scale. That's it. Then the opposite one. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick check with my own torque wrench. I would say it puts a little bit more. Uh, but uh, that, that can also happen when there is a Loctite on those new bolts. Uh, you tight those in and it takes a little bit time under, uh, until it, it will just find its place uh, in the thread and then you can, you can tighten it a little bit more. But I would say it's pretty much precise torque wrench that Canyon provides. There are some assembly instructions on the seat post which is very good, that's for our safety. And one additional information here, we are advised here to find in the box, in the additional one, the plug, little, little, little plug and the screw that we're gonna use for our seat post clamp. Once more we should read what's the torque for this bolt. It says 5 mm just like on the handlebars. We're tightening this bolt. Uh, of course, um, as soon as we know the, the height of our saddle is the, the best one, the right one. Uh, in this case, in order to use this torque wrench, I would recommend to remove the rear wheel because it's kind of on the way here. No, I'm sorry, the 4mm Allen key has also been, provi been uh, provided by Kenyon and this one comes also with some smart design so that it will show us 
uh, just as a tor torque wrench does 5 newton meters which is really really cool design the allen key is here inside uh, and this little thing will just bend and show us 5 newton meters on the scale cool Now it's finally time for our front wheel with the through axle. We start by removing the pad from our caliper brake and mount the wheel. Now what torque here in the front, we go back to our uh, manual for the DT Swiss wheels. Uh, even though it says only about these, this type of uh, quick release, which we have in the rear, it says 15 newton, newton meters. So we can use the provided uh, torque wrench, which has up to 12 newton meters. So I'm using it only up to 12, not more, because it's not designed for a higher torque. And then you can just use your own Allen key uh, and uh, tighten it up a little bit more. But that's it for the assembly. And so our Kenyan Endurance CFSL is ready to roll. We will just uh, check out the, the brakes and the, uh, the shifting. The shifting is almost perfect. You know, this is the new bike. So right out of the box, it would need maybe some fine tuning. I'm gonna uh, do tutorial on that. Uh, after a couple of rides, uh, we would maybe readjust a little bit the tension on those uh, cables. Check out the brakes, they should be perfectly fine, so uh, no bleeding uh, needed. Uh, I'm not squeezing the top tube by any means, it just almost lies down like this uh, on my bike stand, so do not squeeze the carbon. Then I'm gonna mount uh, the pedals and um, one additional thing I would maybe advise you to do if you've been touching with your uh, fingers, uh, with your hands, uh, the disc brakes, the disc rotors, it would be a good idea to uh, degrease those, otherwise the right saddle height, the position and we go for training. <laughs> 